A new night of widespread protests and rioting there after police shot and killed a 17-year-old during a traffic stop. The teen's funeral drawing large crowds on Saturday. ABC's Ines de la Catara has the latest from Paris. Ines, good morning. Good morning, Will. And a fifth consecutive night of violence across France. There was slightly less violence in Paris last night, but we were here on the Champs Elysees, and there was still a very heavy police presence. We did see protesters clashing with police. The big flashpoints last night were further south, cities like Marseille and Montpellier, for instance, rioters setting cars and buildings on fire and even looting stores in some cases. The violence uh, ignited on Tuesday after police shot and killed a 17-year-old identified as now. Nael, he was laid to rest on Saturday in a private ceremony. Prosecutors say Nael was shot after he failed to stop his car when he was asked to do so by police. But he was of North African descent, and so that has raised questions as to whether race may have played a factor here. The officer has been charged with voluntary homicide. 45,000 officers deployed last night to restore order. Over 700 people arrested as of this morning, close to 3,000 detained since this first began. And and the French president canceling a planned state visit to Germany. His ministers are also being asked to remain in Paris. And this morning, Macron once again holding crisis meetings. Gio? Unbelievable images from France there, Inez. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.